So I've set up two things to happen with Pixel Mat Switcher, which I think is super freaking cool. So if I hit play on Spotify down here, you can't hear the music, but stream can. Um, if you look right up here, in a second, this is not the fault of Pixel Mat Switcher, this is the fault of Tuna. Uh, it's waiting for Tuna to detect. There you go. And now it shows up automatically. Um, because it shows up here, which is being controlled by Tuna. But anyway, if I pause it, once Tuna detects that there's no more music playing, it will uh, stop detecting it in Pixel Mat Switcher, and then it will hide itself right up here if you give it a second. There you go. Automatically hides itself. And now, uh, the even cooler thing that I think is if I go to the game over here and I close it, automatically goes to my BRB screen. Like, I don't even have to click it. I did not press any buttons on my keyboard. And the way that I'm doing this is it is matching two different things. One of them, as you can probably see here, is the music ticker. So when something shows up on the music ticker, then it'll detect it and put up the, it'll press a hotkey and it'll use move transition to then move the um, elements or the sources, sorry, uh, into place. But I want to capture two different um, sources with pixel match. How do I do that? Well, you combine it into one. So this scene well, right here is just a bunch of different captures. So we have the song name, and we have the game capture uh, with normal game capture and with window capture. Some things I need to capture with window capture. So anyway, whenever I do that, like let's start up Splitgate again real quick. Um, whenever I do that, and it detects the game, there it is. I made it really small because it really doesn't need to be very big. It just needs to detect that there is something there. It doesn't care what it is because um, this is just looking for 100%. Um, oh, match has 87. That's not supposed to be. It's supposed to be 100%. I don't know how that got changed. But anyway, um, so that means that if this is completely blank, there is nothing in this little box, means there's nothing in the uh, game capture. So if I, for example, hide this, there you go, it automatically switches. Um, but if I go back, turn it on, it's not going to switch back automatically because I might want to, I don't know, maybe I'm closing the game on purpose or something. Um, but I can still press a hotkey and then it goes back to my main scene. Um, Uh, there's something else I wanted to say. Oh yeah, uh, it will crash if I don't have a pixel match filter in the scene. So what I had to do, and it also doesn't support um, filters in other scenes, which I guess makes sense though. I would love an option to let me have pixel match filters in the other scenes. But anyway, I added the whole scene to... Uh, this scene, and then added the pixel match filter to that. Um, actually, technically, it's added to this, I believe. Yeah, filters. Yeah, it's added to the scene itself. And then I added the scene to the game scene and to the BRB scene. If it's not in the BRB scene and it switches the BRC, BRB scene, OBS crashes. Uh, please fix that. Don't know details of that. I already detailed a different crash. Uh, that I was able to reproduce with hiding and showing scenes, which is why I'm using hotkeys exclusively, which don't seem to crash. Um, but I'd love to be able to use the other things. I haven't tested uh, any of the others other than uh, scene item and hotkey, but anyway, getting off track. Uh, so those are the two things that I was able to do with it, which I think is super cool. So when the game crashes or I close it or whatever, automatically goes to the BRB scene don't have to do anything. The only caveat with this is, in theory, if the game shows a completely black screen, it'll think that the game closed, 
then Switch will be able to be seen. But there's not many games that genuinely show a hundred percent black, which is why this is a hundred percent threshold. Um, so even if there's like a teeny tiny little loading screen in there, it still won't switch. Um, and then the the music thing is also pretty cool. As soon as it takes it, it well, okay, it, it it did the thing. It 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 stopped it from showing. You can't see that because <laughs> the Windows uh, display showed up. But whatever, you, you can see it's gone. Anyway, uh, those are the two things I was able to do with it. Just wanted to share that and also share the uh, crash. If the pixel match filter is not in the scene you were switching to. It seems to crash. I have not done much research. I haven't done it in a uh, portable build of OBS to test it like I did with the other crash. I might do that at some point, but right now I just wanted to show that off.